Hello, this is Vince from MTL Free TV. Um, how many times has this happened? You know, you've been in an app and uh, you want to exit the app, but it's not letting you. So you're kind of stuck because, you know, like this is a little bit different, obviously, because you have the bar here. But sometimes what's going to happen is you don't have the bar or you're not able, you click on the exit. An example for Cody, XBMC, SPMC, you click on the exit to get out and it doesn't let you out. So this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks to get out of any app, uh, regardless if, uh, if it's stuck or if it's frozen. And uh, it'll show you how to uh, close the app in an efficient way without you having to power off the box or unpower power the box. So here we are. So um, we're gonna just, I'm gonna use Puffin Browser as an example, but th this could happen in any application. Uh, you know, it could be an application that's maybe, that has too many ads, that's a little over aggressive, an app that freezes, or Cody whenever you click on the exit. So just think of this as kind of like a, a one stop for any type of app that you wanna get out of and you can't, or it's kind of like holding you hostage. So uh, th obviously the easiest thing to do is to click on the home button, right? You would click on the home button, you would come onto the home page, you would do the uh, the multi-window uh, button and then from the multi-window button then you would swipe up or you would click on it and then you would remove from the list. Basically the goal is to get out of the app or to get out of any app that you're that you're kind of in. So clicking on the home button on your remote or clicking on the home button on the keyboard or clicking on the home button on the page is one of the easiest ways to do it. All right. So another way that you can do it is uh, at the top here, there's all these little uh, widgets, not widgets, but like pull down menus within uh, the Android system, which kind of supersedes whatever app that you're in. So you can come here and the trick is you're just going to click. You click down on the uh, the left click of your, your mouse or your keyboard. Uh, this may be a little bit harder with a remote, but definitely uh, you're gonna, you'd be able to do it with like a mouse or a keyboard. So you're going to be able to come here and on the right side, you're going to be able to, on the right side, you're going to be able, whoops, I just clicked too high. On the right side, you're going to be able to click on the, there's going to be this little negative, like a little negative space up here. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on it. And then you're going to see it's already, like it already got your attention. So it's going to click here and see, and then you're just going to pull it down. Just pull it down and then you're going to have like your little menu here. What you're going to do at that point is you can go to settings. It's going to open up the settings. It's going to force you over to the settings, right? And then you can go to apps. And then apps, you can find the app that you're looking for. So in this case, once again, it's Puffin Browser. You're going to click on it. So once you're in here, you're going to click on force stop. And it's going to tell you that, but that's fine. So you're going to close the app, and then the app is going to close. Uh, I'm using a I'm using a virtual machine right now off my computer. So what it does is that it doesn't really necessarily close it, but it kind of resets the app. So the app just resets. But essentially, is you're going to oops, I clicked too low again. So once again, you're going to click on the the negative bar here, the little empty bar. It's going to pull up that little like the little. Uh, navigation or the pull down menu you're going to pull it down you go to settings you can do that on the right also you can do that on the left you see you come here and then you're going to have another bar here if you have any messages another quick tip uh sometimes i know customers they have little uh arrows or little things little uh notifications on the side here this is the way that you would get rid of them you're going to put it down and then you're going to have uh, the little clear all you click on the clear all and that's it uh, also it can be done at the bottom so uh, this is not the best example because this already has the bar but if you click on the bar and then you pull up you can do the same thing so the exact same thing that you're doing here you click on the bar at the bottom and then you pull up or you pull down so that's the way you're going to be able to do it another way to e exit or to get out is to click out tab Clicking Alt Tab will give you the like the overview or the uh, the multi window view. So uh, when you click on that, and then it's going to be able to give you the option to click on the uh, the app and remove it from the list. So these are the ways that you, these are the ways that you would be able to get out of any application if you're being stuck in it, if you're caught in it, if it's not letting you out. Uh, you'd just be able to. The easiest way is to get out of the app. The most important thing is to get out of the app. Once you're outside the app, then you'll have multiple options to, to go ahead and close the app. So either you do the overview, multi-window, you go into the apps. The other way is you pull it down, you go into the settings, right? In the settings, you're going to go into the apps, and then you're going to have your list of apps. You close the app in question. 
there's many ways for you to do it uh, as long as you get out the app because like I said I've had a few customers that have come up to me over the past couple of days that they've been having issues particularly with with XBMC but this is kind of like something that could happen with any app there's some apps that are a little bit more aggressive uh, with ads uh, and uh, it doesn't really let you out and you know you kind of click exit and it kind of gives you another ad and stuff like that so this is the way that you can completely circumvent and completely get out of the app without having to worry mtlfreetv.com is the website thinking of getting your second third maybe even your first android device maybe you even like a t-shirt of the logo mtlfreetv.com is the place we ship worldwide mtlfreetv the boards.net is the board where you'll be able to keep up with all the updates and changes that i post up tinyurl.com slash mtlfreetv is the mailing list and mtlfreetv at gmail.com is the email. And don't forget the MFT installer. It's the best place for Android devices to get all their movies, TV shows, and streaming apps all in one place. And best of all, it's free. Free download, you go to the website, which is right on the screen, mtlfreetv.com slash mftinstaller. Like, share, and most importantly, enjoy. Take care.